I think this morning's prices surprised a lot of people. If you are sitting there and say you weren't surprised, you're lying. <laughs> you're absolutely lying. The market actually looked pretty good going into today. And obviously, we got kind of this uh, this big overall correction, okay, this big pullback. I think it was an institutional sell-off again. Not as bad as the one back in June, but you can see obviously how it affected prices. Now, the cool thing about this is ADA did in fact hold its market structure. Okay, we obviously have this ascending channel that we're in. It came down, it actually tested the bottom of this channel and bounced back up, which is a great sign. It shows that there's huge support around that 30 and a half cent level. Hopefully again, this continues to hold, but it also shows that there's big uh, support within this channel too, okay? Keep that in mind. Now, the very cool thing is that this brought us back right on top of my line. Hey, we're back on track here. Now, guys, if this does in fact track following my line perfectly, I am going to go out and get a Mega Millions ticket. I'm going to win that lottery. And then we're really going to have some serious crypto money to deal with. Okay. But no. So what I want to talk about a little bit is what to expect here, you know, over probably the next month or so in terms of ADA price. Obviously, this this FOMC meeting, I'm not going to dive um, too, too much into it. I think that's what triggered this pullback this morning. If you guys haven't seen, the rate hike probability is, is pretty high. So it's it's almost a guarantee that we're going to get a rate hike at the FOMC meeting. I won't get too much into that because I actually have a video scheduled at 1230 to go live discussing that already. I don't like to double up on them. But what we're going to see is, is there's obviously a few other reports after this. We have a GDP report. We have a PC report, some ones that are going to play a major impact into prices. But if those do come back, you know, good on the positive side, we might continue to ride this wave here. We might continue to work our way to the upside. Obviously, ADA's got a few things to contend with here as we work our way up these charts. 36 cent level is a big one. 40 cent level is another one. Again, if this if this hits 40 cents by the middle of August, we're in pretty good shape because you guys can see, obviously, yeah, I'm going to zoom out to the one day. If you guys look back, we've done this a couple times already uh, this year. We've gone on these, these runs up past 40 cents, and it's taken about the same amount of time from the levels that we're currently at. ADA's very, very consistent. And right now, obviously, we need a, we need a little bit of a flip here. Okay, we're a little bit on the negative side. This 50-day moving average is well below the 200. I believe the, uh, where is it? There we go. I believe we're starting to flip on the, uh, the MACD, too. We're starting to come back down a little there, so... Not necessarily things that you want to see, but the market plays a pretty big factor into what ADA is doing at this time. Keep in mind, these are the times where coins aren't necessarily going on runs by themselves. They're very much impacted by the broader crypto market. So those macro factors like the FOMC meeting and the GDP and the CPI, the jobs report, all that stuff, it all plays a uh, very big impact into what prices are doing. Now, the good news is once you get to alt season, once we're past, you know, the Bitcoin having and all of these things, it, it plays less of a, an impact, right? When when adoption is huge and people are flowing into crypto and obviously now we have the benefit of, you know, possibly institutional money flowing in and, you know, commercial money like enterprises flowing into crypto too. There's a lot of, a lot of potential for this, this market cycle coming up here. So, that's really what I'm looking forward to. I'm just trying to take advantage of any opportunity that I can. You know, 30 and a half cent ADA. If you guys were looking at 32 cents, 33 cents, here's your chance again to get in a little bit lower. So I thought I'd share that with you guys. Appreciate you as always. Make sure you guys show your love below. Before I do get out of here, guys, keep in mind, Grape Token does in fact go live today. If you guys have not gotten into the pre-sale yet, you guys can obviously check it out and, and look at doing so. If you're not familiar, Grape is a layer one chain. They're, they're using actually AI. They're uh, actually going to be the very first Web4 infra infrastructure for a decentralized internet. Pretty big things going on there. And again, the pre-sale price is cheaper than what it's going to be launching at on exchanges. So I believe it's supposed to launch in that $40, $50, $60 range. To get into the pre-sale, your tokens will be staked for 120 days, but you will get a benefit for doing so. You'll actually earn an additional 10%. If you guys get in via my referral link, that's on top of anything you contribute to the pre-sale. So if you put a thousand bucks in, you earn an additional hundred dollars on top of that. You also get the GGT bonus, which GGT is the governance token for the chain itself. So you don't get that for buying on the open market. And during those 120 days, you also get 20% APY on everything that you have uh, stake during that time. So that's very exciting. So I want to see what, 
what uh, Ada does over the next few days. So this is always not financial advice, guys, whether that be, you know, pre-sales, whether that be Ada token itself, whether that be anything in the market, you guys obviously um, need to make decisions for yourself. I just want to provide you the information so you can navigate the space in a little more informed manner. I used to never pay attention to any of this stuff, guys. I was very uninformed. But uh, once I started doing crypto content, obviously you're you're forced to get a little more uh, a little more informed. <laughs> but I appreciate you guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Show your support below, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care.